Jina langu ni Kenza. Shule yangu inaitwa Hospital Hill na niko katika darasa la tatu. My name is Caxton Mekubo. When I entered the grade one, I was not used to reading books, so it was hard to say the words. In Kenya, we've been working on early grade reading as one of those ways to help us enable Kenyan to get on its journey to self-reliance in the long run and as a foundational skill for young people ensure that they really know how to read well. Working with the U.S. government, we focus on the literacy aspect. Then we were able to develop this uh, Tusome program, which was focusing on improving the reading capacity of our children and the writing capacity of our children. Pretty much from the very beginning, it was a joint program. And now it's really a, a Government of Kenya program that USAID supports. Hivi vitabu vya tusome vimenisaidia sana sababu zinakuelewesha hizo majina pole pole paka uendelee paka uendelee unaweza unaweza vitamka virahisi. When you read the story, there are these uh, red spots and when you don't understand them, they highlight them at the Msamiati part. So you can you can get to understand them by reading those parts. Tusome program has made impressive results, especially in public schools. Learners there have acquired the four basic literacy skills that is speaking, listening, reading and writing. If we were to look at the return that we got as government and an injection that came in out of the experiences and lessons learned from Tusome, it is like a whole 14 billion shillings was injected into the education sector because that is the saving that we were able to bring to our country. Of also importance is this reading benchmarks, which we have never had before, and we had to borrow heavily from Tusome. And also at this point when we are reviewing the curriculum, those who are going to do competency-based assessment, we have realized the need for training, and that has come as a result of the experience that we have learned from Tusome. They were able to reach uh, the teacher in the classroom and were able to give a lot of support as the program went on. And so as we came into the CBC, it is one of the things we found strong. As a project, it recognized the unique needs and the diversity of the different learners, especially those with visual and hearing disabilities. These teachers were given specialized training with the modification and adaptation of the reading material for the learners. This program was instrumental in building out the toolbox that the ministry is needed to improve uh, the learning outcomes of children. And so all of those lessons have started to spread throughout the educational community on the continent of Africa and elsewhere. In Ghana, in Tanzania, in South Africa, even Nepal had sent a delegation here to look at things and are adopting some of the aspects of the Tusome model in their learning and, and education systems. Now that I know how to read, it's easy and I like reading with my friends because it's fun. Kwangu kusoma ni rahisi sababu huwa nimezoea kusoma vitabu. Nilianza na vidogo nikakuja kwa vikubwa. Mimi nikiwa mkubwa na baada ya kumaliza shule, nitakwampishi kwa hoteli ya nyota tano. I do think reading is important for my future because one of the things that I want to become is a president. I'm very sure the two governments, the Kenyan government and the U.S. government, have a strategic direction of ensuring that the future is secured. And the future can only be secured when we invest in our children. <laughs>